Hi everybody, Pack Opening Attic. So we are going to do yet another one of these boxes of Midnight Hunt uh, set boosters. And let's crack into this. Excuse the sound in the background. Yes, I do have laundry going on. Um, admittedly, Sundays recently have been my only day off of the week. So before football starts, which out here in now the West Coast, is, which I'm out here now on the West Coast, I should say, starts at 10 a.m. What, what is that crap? So... I got like a lot of stuff to do before I can like watch football. <clears throat> so, let's get into this. I really don't like though that they left room for these to breathe, so they slide all over the place, but is what it is. Okay. All right. Let's do another one of these Midnight Hunt set boxes, and let's hope we don't get 500 more Jarens and Falconrath Pit Fighters, which seems to be what I'm doing here. Okay, get through the commons quickly. We're going to get through uncommons kind of. Lear, Disciple of the Drowned, to start us off on the Mythics and Kisa in the showcase, which is a, like, that is awesome artwork. She is, she is crazy. She is certifiably insane. And I love that because that fits the theme. Whoa, this is a tight first pack. Look at this. Tefiri, my first regular pack version of Tefiri. Okay, I'll take that. That, that works for me. And Balefire Liege on the list. Huh. All right. That was a kind of a solid pack right there. <clears throat> All right. Tefiri. Showing on up. That's actually the first Tefiri I pulled for me. So that's actually pretty awesome. Okay. Get through these things quickly. Brutal Cathar. And yeah, nothing. There's that was a really spicy first pack. Okay, commons. Ah, uh, random common, uncommon, random common, uncommon. Shipwreck marsh, very nice. What does everybody think about this land cycle, by the way? Is it just like yeah, it's fine? Is that is that where everybody's at on that or? Or are there people out there that are actually seriously excited about it? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know what your thoughts are. I think it's cool. I, I yeah, I, I, you know, it's not the kind of, they're not going to go to the moon or anything. But they're cool. They're very playable. Reckless Storm Seeker. Foil plane. Okay, yes, I'm going through uncommons quicker. Visions of duplicity from Commander. The Celestis. Extremely set specific artifact. And sus uh, suspicious stowaway in the showcase foil, which is actually kind of cool. Seafaring werewolf. Okay. Ooh, foil swamp. The lands are still awesome. I know there's been a few people that popped up like, yeah, they're cool, but they're not the coolest. You know, you keep your opinions. Well, share them, but we all don't agree. All right, Vedrick. They are pretty cool. Yeah, the unhinged lands are, are probably still, in my opinion, the coolest, but... Okay, we got Malevolent Hermit. This is a card that I think will have long-term popularity, but I could also be extraordinarily wrong. Oh, Sidisi, which I actually got in the last box before this one. Okay, so that's actually likely both, I guess I could get a third since that last box uh, only had one rare or mythic and or mythic. Can you get a third? I guess we'll find out. Burn down the house, nobody cares. Okay. 
Yeah, the design of these set boxes takes a little bit to go through on camera. I mean, it's... I mean, unless I start piling up the uncommons, but then again, you kind of have to go through the uncommons to make sure you don't miss any random rares. Swiftfoot boots, cool. I'll take that. See, folks, the uncommon spot's not that bad. Harold's horn, Swiftfoot boots. Yeah, okay, the commons are generally, but still. See, Zareth. The Viper's Fang. And Rite of Harmony. Okay, cool card. No value. Tortured Existence, huh? From Stronghold? No. Oh, Alright. I don't, I mean, it's been years, I don't remember it, but... That's a pretty cool addition. See, see, that's the flavor! When you talk about list editions, does it make sense with the set that it's in? That does. Willow Geist. And we have a nothing. Okay. So one regular mythic so far and one showcase mythic. And I'm glad it wasn't Jaren. Hey, Will Help, the Rock Lever. Cool. Awesome. I had not pulled one of those yet for me either. Consuming Blob. Why, oh why, is this a mythic? Really? Direwolf Prowler. Hey, it fits the theme. <clears throat> it fits the theme. I can't say anything about it. It's a common that fits the theme. Eventually, I swear, these are going to be used for drafting. Wizards is going to play with the, I think they already are, which is what people have kind of complained about. They're going to tinker with the formula of these, Croak and Counterpart, so that way they can use set boosters here to fully replace. And I know Rudy has talked about that a ton, and he's not wrong, because that's why they're doing this. They're, you know, cards like that would be cool to draft, right? So when you're drafting and you get some random list card that actually goes with some of the things that you drafted, it's actually kind of cool. Provides an extra layer of uh, fun. Yeah, we can go with fun. Mystic Skull, which I think is an awesome card. And Rem Carlos. In an earlier vid, I did ask what, what card from this set people think is going to be like the card that becomes the card out of the set. And yeah, you could say Ren and Seven, and you could say Tefiri, but like, what else? One person did pop up, and it's like very, very, very strongly, Rem Carlos, that's the card. <clears throat> I was like, oh, really? Interesting. Tolvar's Huntmaster. By the way, as I'm doing these, this is one of the problems. I usually reserve this slot for, like, really spicy rares. But there isn't that many of them. <laughs> so I may have to change how I do these. Or lower my standards for what's a spicy rare. Actually, I feel like I already have. Memory Deluge. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and add that spicy rare. Sure, what the heck. Ah. I am a klutz this morning. Jeez. Okay. Come on. Open up. And don't explode the cards all over the place like the last video. Thank you. Okay. And we have Geist Flame Reservoir. Can we get a borderless Tefiri? That's what I'm really hoping for. Ooh, Infernal Grasp. Champion of the Perished. See, that's a spicy rare. Take that. Okay, and get through the last... Okay, Grafted Identity, Resurrection, 
Okay. There's an OG card, but from uh, Ultimate Masters. Resurrection, the former best friend of Sarah Angels everywhere. Okay, and we have the Hostile Hostel for our third. Yeah, our third regular mythic of the set, of the pet box, whatever. I can't believe, I still can't believe Consuming Blob was put as a mythic. I guess it's as bad as the Sunstreak Phoenix. Maybe worse. Maybe worse. Like, why? Why Why is that a mythic? When you guys are putting together a set, you say to yourself, ooh, Visions of Ruin. Okay. You say to yourself, okay, so what's going to be mythic level? Rockfall Veil. Very nice. This card. This card is going to be a mythic. What? 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 I mean, was anybody sitting in that room like, what? Or was it somebody higher up that said it and everybody was like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Tradiska. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. <clears throat> Just got a file. It's a guardian. It's a guardian. Savior. Cool card. Not the mythic we are hoping for. Well, that's probably it for the regular versions of the mythic. So we can still pull another mythic, though, out of the... Uh... Well, I guess we can just pull another couple mythics in general. But likelihood has become lower. Graveyard Trespasser. Sludge Monster Foil. What are we at now? We're at uh, six packs left, huh? Six packs left, at least one more list card, but probably two. Likely commons and uncommons. Jesus. Okay, random commons. Killing me like always. Florian. Voldaren Scion. Yuck. Of course, Florian might be awesome in the next with the next set dropping. Really? That's my sign card. Okay. Slaughter Specialist. And Stitcher's Supply from the list. Okay, we got four packs left. Let's get something cool, huh? Huh? Yeah, I got a Tafiri, which is uh not a bad thing, but nothing borderless yet, huh? You are definitely not guaranteed a borderless card in these. It did seem like you kind of are. Ooh, Avacyn's Memorial, nice. I kind of forgot about that and I wanted to get one of those. Awesome. Primal Adversary, so we did have, besides not, not counting Avacyn's Memorial. So we did have one more Mythic coming and then we got a Foil Slow Gurk, the Over Slime. For now we are probably done with our three foils. Okay. Come on, borderless. Yeah. Old stick fingers. And that. Okay, two packs left. Nothing borderless yet, fortunately. Kind of hoping for. Come on, get out of there. All right. Curse of Obsession. Okay. Commander. Light up the night. Boo. Boo. Last pack, everybody. Can we pull out a borderless card? Let's find out. Spell rune painter. Nope. Briar Bridge Tracker, Scab Wrangler, and nothing. All right. That's it for another one of these boxes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, you know, you guys know the drill. Down below, discount code. 10% off your order, yourplaymat.com. Thanks, bye.